Hey guys, what's going on? Alright, so I'm going to make this tutorial once again because uh, people were missing it or something when I made it before. And uh, yeah, people have been wanting to find out how to do this. And alright, so um, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to need, first of all, a jailbroken device. Uh, actually, there is another way to do this on like the computer or a Mac and that involves uh, downloading something like iExplorer or some kind of file manager. And it's a similar process because you're just replacing a file. But uh, all you need to do is have a um, jailbroken device. If you don't have one, sorry about that. But yeah, this is this is the way to do this. I'm doing this on an Apple device. But um, yeah, so once it's jailbroken, you'll end up having this called Cydia, this app. And in this Cydia app, uh, you can go to Manage and then to the Sources. And you can enter, I have uh, several sources here. But uh, anyway, you, you'll go to like a site and each of the, underneath the names here, you'll see the address and you want to like edit and add and you will type in their whatever the uh, whatever their uh, group is called and you can type in their little uh, address to get to it um, but anyway so on one of those for instance I don't know Excel eyes most of these have this one because it's a main app actually I think you can probably get it off the big boss one but you go to IF to go to I file Let's see if we can get here fast here it is this one and then you would just click install on the top right and you know go through all that it should uh... let's see if it's on big boss maybe check it out i do not see it no there's no i category what in the world <laughs> uh... I... no i'm not seeing it anyway alright so it may be on there i'm just missing it or something but anyway after you do that you would install i file and it would look like that you open it up uh, I may not go directly here. You may actually be back in like var or something, and uh, yeah, you would just scroll down to var uh, mobile, which is down here, and then this is your going to be your base of operations. So right here, uh, you can go into documents. That's where I store a lot of stuff. I'll save and like place there. So I'll have like a little. It's like a little clipboard, like a notes program. You can just stick it in there. I mean that way you don't have to go in and out of the app over and over and over, which is annoying. So. You can do it all from in here. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, what you want to do, uh, I, I put names under different ones of these uh, so we can see. Yeah. So, that's the app, that's the, uh, the skin I want to change. So, you would push the little plus or the arrow button, the blue arrow, to the right of the one you want to use. And the name of the, uh, the file that you're going to be replacing is going to be this char dot png, all lowercase. You don't want a capital C. It may try to get you and if you do if you, if you accidentally place that and you put it in the app uh, yeah it won't do anything it'll just leave your your skin blank I guess something like that I, I think people have been doing this and it turned it like a, a solid color like pink or green or something I don't know but anyway so make sure you spell it exactly like that and uh, yes and that'll be right here so then what you want to do is uh, this is gonna be a big part you want to push edit on the top right and you want to select the one you were going to do something with and go to the bottom right down here this little button it's a clipboard and then you can copy it because you don't want to if you cut it it'll remove it of course alright then you want to go back push the home button that'll take you back to this screen uh, I guess you could just do that from the the <laughs> original menu if you got stuck and couldn't find it the way here anyway you press applications at the very top uh, that might take a few seconds depending on how many apps you have uh, <laughs> yeah so that was probably at the top I missed it Anyway, yeah, you go down to uh, the M's, Minecraft PE. Oh, first of all, the uh, the cog button over here, you can go in here and change... Wait a second. Where's the settings? I was pretty sure that was the settings. Uh, <laughs> uh, file viewers. Anyway, in here somewhere, you should be able to... Oh, here it is. File manager and application names right here. You want that on, because otherwise it would be a bunch of numbers be kind of confusing to see. Uh, all these numbers down there, normally it would be all that. And it would be kind of hard to find, you just have to find it by trial and error. But anyway, you open this, click on the main one, minecraftpe.app, and this is the file that has most of your images for the for the different characters and stuff. And so what you want to do, since you already have it in your clipboard, and uh, it's the right name, you'll just push paste and then overwrite, and that'll replace the char png file that it has already stored in here which is of course the um, it's gonna be your where is it 
I'm not I'm pretty uh, scatterbrained right now. I'm like skipping things because I'm talking right there. This one. So it would replace that uh, right away. So then, uh, then you can just go right to your Minecraft app, and it should be if you did all that exactly the way I did, you will have an <laughs> you'll have your skin all prepared. Let's see if I have that open. All right. So let's try this. Let's open up. Uh, switch this around. Come on. Play. I'm asking you to do things for me. Do it. <laughs> well, he doesn't always comply. This little thing likes to have a mind of its own. Um, well, I don't know. There we go. Finally. Alright, so then we can just switch to third person. Let's see. I believe this. And there we go. Now the skin is on. Uh, maybe I should... <laughs> for some of you, uh, haters, or whatever, you may think, oh, well, the he already had that on. Um, yeah, maybe I should have cut to this first, and then, uh, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> kind of uh, messed myself up with that, but, uh, yeah, hopefully you'll believe that this is all real, uh, because it is, and it works, and tons of people have done it. So, stop, <laughs> stop saying this doesn't work. It works perfectly if you do it right. Of course, there's going to be problems with different systems and stuff, but, yeah, basically, this is how it should work, and, uh, yeah, that's about as simple as I can get it. Uh, Let's see, if I go back, I can show you, go to the home, quickly, it takes you quickly back to documents, and then, let's see, items, uh, I believe that is your stuff in your hand, so you could change that and make it look cool, like your GUI and stuff. Uh, they also have the GUI right here, you can get like that, that's, no, that's a normal one. You can get, I, I actually uh, cut this one out and like deleted everything on the GUI and just made a blank image and then placed it and it got rid of everything. But that's not necessary anymore because now it there's a setting for that in the Minecraft app, which is cool. I like that. Alright, so terrain. This is another one people like. It needs to be named Terrain PNG. This one is your texture pack, uh, sort of. I mean, it doesn't replace everything like sun, moon, stars and all that stuff, but uh, it replaces all the ground items and their blocks and stuff. And I found, in this one, you want to make sure that uh, down here in the lower right, you want to make sure that your water and your lava is actually something and not a texture pack that needs to be patched. Which, where it would place down there, it would have, uh, it would say, like, needs to be patched or some kind of random block with words on it. So you want to make sure, if you want your lava and water to work, look good, you need it to be look like that. Um, other than that, I mean, you can find Pocket Edition, like, customized texture packs, which are good, but, uh... Right here, it looks like... Okay, yeah, so some of the blocks will be in, like, the wrong spot compared to the Pocket Edition because this is a PC texture pack. And so some of the stuff in the middle there, since they don't have any of those blocks, it, and they may have put something else, like a new block for Pocket Edition because some, some of the blocks are different. Uh, they, like, added, like, only, like, exclusive ones, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And they so they would use that one of those accidentally, and they would look weird. But we can't get around that right now. Alright, so yeah, you want to do the same process for edit, uh, wait a second, select, there we go, <laughs> almost skipped that, copy, and then go back to your applications, head down to the mighty Minecraft PE, go back to document, and you can paste, wait, I'll uh, <laughs> save you the trouble here. Alright, so terrain, let's go down to T, the T's, let's see, how do you spell T? What is a T? Oh, wow, I went way past it. Alright. Train PNG. Uh, wait a second. Let's done this thing so we can show you. This is what it looks like. Wow, that does have a lot of new stuff down there. Well, anyway, for the sake of this uh, tutorial, we'll just skip that. Oh, wow, what in the world? There's like a, a large mushroom skin over there. All right, <laughs> enough. All right, so we'll do edit and paste over right. There we go. And then we're done. Terrain PNG. And look, it is now a version of Doku Craft. Check it out. So, yeah, that's how it's supposed to work. It replaces the file because it's just it's just a photo. I mean, PNG, that's a transparent photo or whatever. I forget what the uh, acronym actually stands for. But anyway, this uh, th video has gone long enough. And, yeah, that's basically how you do all of that stuff that I do for my videos. I mean, everybody's always asking. and I mean, it's fairly simple. And once you've done it, like, several times, the it just becomes fluid motion. I, I don't even think about it anymore, usually. I can just switch out stuff all the time. I just go. I just went on like Google and 
or uh, you could go to the Minecraft forums they and search you know texture packs or um, I don't know skins and stuff that you like there's even skin generators that you can like make your own skin or I don't know whatever whatever you want to do man and yeah you just take the image as long as the image is a PNG and everything and is the correct thing you can always switch it out and then of course you get an invalid one it'll show you or it won't work and you can just replace it back that's why I like to save my original terrain and uh, skin and everything and into that documents section that way if I do do the wrong thing which I haven't ever yet but if it ever happened I'd have the backup and I could just put it right back in be fine good to go alright uh, I think that's covering everything so uh, yeah I will say a hasty goodbye